Hello guys, today I want to show you how to merge not the branches but repositories. Why do you want to merge repositories? Well, let's say that you are creating two components and at some point you realize this is not actually two separate components, I want them inside of the same project. So what you can do at this point, you can for example just take the files and copy them to the second repository and just commit, but that will just keep the files, the history itself will be lost while well, in Git history is quite valuable. You usually want to save that history and save all the commits from both repositories in one repository. Or, just like me, you have a mess in your GitHub, because I created like a couple of dozen repositories that I don't really need, and now I want to tidy that up. So what I will do in this video, I'll take my repository called NodeCamp and I move it to become a folder in a repository called Trainings. So what we'll do, I'll start from cloning trainings repository locally and oops. Done. So let's clear the screen and now let's go to a trainings folder and see what is our remotes. Remote minus V will show me a single remote, which is pretty much obvious. It is origin and it's pointing to my trainings remote. And I have a single branch called master, right? So here's my branch master and here's origin master. So what is my strategy? What I want now to do is to add the second remote to this repository. The remote that I will add will point to the repository that I want to merge into this one. So that's what I'll do. First I need to get the URL of that repo. Where is it? Oh, here it is. So let's take the URL and git remote add. I'll call this repository, sorry, this remote notecamp and add this remote. Now I want to fetch everything from that remote just to have those commits here locally. I will have to do it anyway. And after a minute they will be here. Taking a bit slower than I anticipated, but it will be here. Now it is here and I've got two remotes. Let's check that. Git remote minus V will show me both remotes. What I can now do, I have two remotes pointing to two different repositories in the single working directory. So what I can do right now, I can just merge from node camp master into my current master and have all the files pulled and then sort them out. This will be an easy way to merge and it will indeed preserve all the changes and I can commit afterwards. But what it will what will happen is all the files that are present in this repository that I'm about to merge, they will just be dropped into the uh, root folder. I'll have to make sure that there is no merge conflicts whatsoever. So, and I might just by mistake when I have all these files in the same folder together with the files from the other repository, just by my mistake I might delete or move something that I don't want to delete or move. So what I want to do is first take all these files and move them into the separate folder called NodeCamp in my new repository. I'll do that in a separate branch. So I want the new branch. I'll call this branch NodeCamp, just like remote, and I want to check out NodeCamp master into this branch. Git branch, I'm now on NodeCamp and here's my list of files, right? If I go and check out my master, here's the repository that I'm merging into and here's my list of files. And you see that actually a couple of files are intersecting, right? If I just do the dummy merge, I will have to solve the conflicts with readme, with license, I don't want to deal with that mess. So I'm checking out again the new branch that I just created. Let's see what we have got here. The status is obviously clean. Now I want to create a folder called NodeCamp and I want to move everything to this folder. 
there probably is a better way to do that than just typing the commands. I'm not very good at that, but if you know the better way how to move everything into the subfolder, let me know. I will be super interested. So I'll move it manually. Node camp. Almost there. So now I have just a single folder called Node camp. And the status will show me a bunch of files that I moved. There's really, really many of them, right? So what I can now do, I can pretty much safely commit moved all files into a subfolder node camp. Okay. Now I have two branches and one my branch is master. This is the repository that I'm merging to and it has a nice structure. This by the way are a couple of repositories already merged. And I have another branch called node camp that also is much nicer. Git status it has just one subfolder and now the merge will be super trivial I go to master I tell that I want to merge with node camp hit done merge conflict and git ignore well <laughs> I skipped git ignore well that's not a big problem let's just solve it uh, what we've got here This one I'll keep, DS store is OK, logs, everything else looks pretty much normal. What else? Node modules, VND, yeah, that's a good ignore. In VND I'm usually keeping my uh, vendor-specific libraries for JavaScript. Now git ignore looks OK. And I'm ready to complete the merge. merged with node camp repository. And now both repositories are in the same place. Here's my folder structure, see? So now everything from node camp repo in this nice little folder. And now I can push and finally after I push I will clean things up and make sure that I don't have any extra branches that I don't need left. Now let's clean up. First, I want to delete the unused remote. I think it is a RAM node camp. Yep. And git branch minus D node camp. I want to delete the branch. Everything looks looks quite nice. So I, I'm now back in the situation when I have a single repository with a single remote and all my data from the other repository is merged in and the history is also preserved. So if I clear the screen and try to do something like graphical log, here's, here's my repository that I merged, right? All the commits are there. They are safe and nice and I have lost nothing. Now, what I can do is finally, this node camp is not more required. So I go to settings and danger zone. And I just say, I want to delete this. Oh, node camp. I want to delete this repository and I fully understand what I just did. So this way we can now just go and check out and trainings. Here's my node camp everything there and the commits from node camp are also there i hope that this was useful see you in the next videos and of course if you have any questions please feel free to leave any comments and subscribe to my channel thank you very much see you later